Hey, so I'm going to quickly review. I'm really not sure how to say this properly. Um, the Alacqua Rosa Elixir by Fendi. I ordered this cute little mini, I think it was six or seven dollars um, on Fragrance X, and it got here very quickly, just in a few days. Um, they're on the East Coast. I'm visiting here in California. I think this little bottle is so cute, but I would love to have actually the full-size bottle. I like how it... Wait a minute. I've already put this on my wrist. I really don't want to waste it for now because I just have this. I was looking for where... Never mind. So... Anyhow, um, so there's two. There's the... L'Aqua Rosa, which is in the bright red bottle that looks like this. Bigger, of course. This is a little mini sample. And then the L'Aqua Rosa Elixir, which is this. And I've been dying to try this because the main reason is because it has a sour cherry note. As I said, I've already dabbed this on my wrist and I just don't want to be wasteful with it. And you really don't need much. I've barely dabbed with this and it's very potent. Um, so main reason because of the cherry note and I really love the smell of cherry. I don't mind like fake cherry notes or even the ultra sweet ones but that's just so common and this is supposed to be sour cherry so I really wanted to smell it. Also I'm 45 and I remember smelling Fendi by Fendi like my aunt having it and so it, that's a nostalgic thought for me this definitely smells like it's made by Fendi if that makes sense you can tell that it's definitely a Fendi fragrance oh that's what I was looking for I have the little knob backwards so I just think that's cute oh you can't even see on there you can see though it says Fendi there on the little cap um so L'Aqua Rosa, L'Aqua Rosa Elixir, I'll tell you what it says on Fragrantica, um, it's 2015, I think this came out, and it says that, it says La, uh, Lix, Le, Lix, Elixir, Aqua Rosa, the way they have it worded, although this is L'Aqua Rosa Elixir, is an oriental floral scent with a fruity and gourmand accents. It contains notes of juicy cherry on the top, lantana flower, the signature ingredient for the entire line, and tuberose in the heart, and vanilla and woods in the base. And the actual notes are listed as top note of sour cherry, uh, middle notes of tuberose lantana flowers, which I pressed the button on Fragrantica to look that up because I didn't know what that meant and it really didn't say much. It's just like this mix of whatever those flowers are. Although that's the reason I just read this is because they've said it, I guess they're the signature note in this line. And base notes of vanilla and woody notes. Um, I think this is beautiful, this is tasteful, this is quality, and you definitely get the cherry. And I dabbed this on my wrist earlier, it's evening now, and it was kind of actually a medium, moderate weather, windy day here today. And at first I was like, where's this cherry everybody's like screaming about? Because if you read through people's comments, a lot of people are like, if you're looking for a syrupy cherry, that ultra sweet cherry, this isn't it. It's very tart, which I was really excited about. And at first I was just getting a very, f mostly floral. There's loads of tuberose and I guess that Lentana flower. I'm not a fragrance expert. I really just do these videos because I was very sick in the past and I'm still recovering and fragrance makes me happy. So uh, it's just something I do for my own happiness. Um, and and so the base notes are vanilla and woody notes. I would, this is nice, don't get me wrong. So earlier I dabbed it on, and then like after it sat on me, um, which is contrary to what others say, but it, it was windy and I was like, oh, I guess it dried. It didn't take too long, but then I was like, oh, and the wind and the cooler wind, I was like, there's that cherry. 
and it, the cherry is in here and I love it. But to be honest with you, uh, most women will probably love it just like it is, but I would really love it if it was straight wood and sour cherry. So another thing I want to add is a lot of people said, okay, if you're looking for that sweet cherry, this isn't it. I think this is like predominantly floral, to be honest, like a sweet floral. They said like an amber gourmand. So it's definitely got sweetness. Here's the irony of this. The cherry smells like a real sour cherry. Other people use the word tart. The, on Fragrantica, that's listed as sour. There's not tartness in here. So you get this beautiful, nice, real cherry note in it. And the cherry itself is not sweet cherry, but the fragrance is sweet because of that vanilla and tuberose. So this is actually a sweet floral scent. It projects really well. I'd like to have an actual full-size bottle to spray it and, and really test it out. Actually, I like to mist on my clothes and my body. And um, this is for sure though long lasting. I would say this is projects well and it is very long lasting and it has it has that Fendi vibe. Um, those of you my age especially probably know exactly what I mean by that. I really do like this and I hopefully we'll get a full-size bottle. Um, as I said, I really would like it to be like a, a bright fresh cherry in the woods. However, this is very pretty. It's got the cherry, but it's like a, a sweet vanilla -y floral and then when you do get the cherry it's the real cherry but yeah it's sweet it's sweet from the from the vanilla and uh that's my quick take on this i do like it so but if you're like me and you were looking for that straight sour cherry it's not just straight sour cherry the cherry is very cherry but it's sweet from the vanilla and the flowers and the tuberose especially i'm sure so long lasting good quality good projection and probably best in cool weather and nighttime most likely although you could rock it whenever you want but it picked up earlier with that cool breeze when it was flowing through and um it's very very feminine but i'm an oddball in the sense that sometimes i like these types of fragrances on men but there's nothing masculine about this, not specifically if you have to gender things. It's um, it's definitely a very feminine fragrance. It's very nice. That's it.